when Krishna returned from Vrindavan to Mathura, he was brought by chariot by Akura, and as he entered into Mathura one by one, he received garments, he received from Kubja, he received fragrances and sandalwood paste. From a weaver, he received ornaments. And then he met Sudama, the florist. And there's a wonderful description from Garga Samhita. I'll say it quickly. Florists are always interested in getting really good flowers. And he heard they have really nice flowers in Vrindavan. He's from Matra, and Vrindavan and Matra are not so far away. So he ventured into Vrindavan, searching for places where he could find flowers. And one day, from a distance, he saw Krishna. And he was stunned. And when he saw Krishna and was stunned, he couldn't get Krishna off his mind, not like he wanted to get but Krishna stayed in his mind. And so he often went back to gather flowers in Vrindavan, where is Krishna? Will I see Krishna again? So he became a Krishna Bhakta in search of flowers. And he intuitively understood Krishna will, will fulfill my desire to see him again. And sure enough, Krishna came right to his door with Balaram and some cowherds seeking, without even Krishna saying, the florist spoke to Krishna, described his appreciation for Krishna and Balaram, and he knew what Krishna wanted, and so he offered this most fragrant garland to Krishna and Balaram. And Krishna was so pleased. So Krishna said, I've come to your door because you please me so much by your devotion. You can ask from me anything you like. Now there's some places like that in the Bhagavatam. Lord Shringadev asked Prahlad, anything you like, it's yours. So here's what the florist asked for. He asked for unshakable devotion for Krishna. There's a verse, this is directly quoting from the Bhagavatam. He also asked for friendship with his devotees, but he also requested transcendental compassion for all living beings. So any one of those, you know, what the goal is number one, but number one is not minus number two, and one and two are not minus number three. Our, the, the, the transcendental perspective on the golden rule, it's not just doing unto others. The transcendental perspective is unlimited devotion to Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You'll hear some more on this as we go along this weekend. And almost the same, this is the tenth canto, back in the first canto, after we hear all these wonderful things about Marj Prichet and his his qualities as a person from his birth, chapter 12, and so forth and so on, all the way up to chapter 18, he gets cursed by the son of a Brahmana. All of that is, you know, Krishna and, excuse me, Marj Prichet and his associates, the, 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 his, the Pandavas, etc. So when he's cursed, he goes to the side of the, the holy river, the Ganges, um, in taking off his royal garments and his crown and turning everything over to his son, the next king, Janame Jaya. And he invites all the sages to come and advise him. So this shows Marj Prichit instructing him. But before Marj Prichit came, he spoke to the sages, and the holy people that had assembled there, I pray that if I should again take my birth in the material world, I will have complete attachment to the unlimited Lord Krishna, association with his devotees, and friendly relations with all living 
the end. So the Vaishnava perspective on the golden rule is not just number three, but number one and number two. And they're not just number one and number two without number three. We're, we don't put to the side acts of kindness for others. It's core to our life as Vaishnavas. But when we do so, it's with the purpose of pleasing Krishna, because pleasing Krishna is everything. So that service to Krishna is essential, and the compassion for all living beings is essential. And the best service we can do to others, the best, your best friend or your best friends are, according to Ramananda Roy, those who remind you of Krishna. Those are your best friends. Those are your best friends. And if you want to be the best friend of others, remind them of Krishna. 